Hello again guys, Jesse here. Um, this is a continuance of the video I posted earlier about sensory processing disorder, also known as, well formerly known as SIDS, sensory integration disorder. They changed the name because it was creating some confusion between that and sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS. So anyway, let's get to it. As of right now, 2021, sensory processing issues and people with the disorder itself is not recognized by the medical community at large. In fact, it's only really recognized by generally occupational therapists who work with people who have challenges in their day-to-day -day life, uh, whether it be mental or physical or neurological, to help them live their best life as they possibly can. When I was in high school, I went to go see an um, occupational therapist because of my difficulties in the classroom. I had trouble concentrating, and it really wasn't my ability to concentrate as my inability to filter out background noise and sounds that bothered me because, like many people on the spectrum or with just SPD, I was hypersensitive, particularly to friction sounds the sounds of paper, the sounds of people walking on dirty floors, anything with a shh element. And believe me, I do not want to be this way. But some things aren't really a matter of having a choice. It's just, what are you going to do now? So, I got diagnosed with SPD. However, it's not recognized by the medical community. So, that diagnosis was only for my self-validation. And I ended up having to go get a diagnosis from a doctor, a different doctor, who was only able to diagnose me as psychosomatic. And that means I made it all up in my head, which I most certainly did not. And what this allowed me to do was to be tested away from my peers in an isolated environment so I could be away from all the sounds that bothered me. However, one can't really feel not perturbed due to the fact that even though I was able to receive accommodation, it kind of felt cheated in a way because my experiences and what I perceived through my neurology was invalidated and it was substituted with a reason that they could accept for me to receive accommodation. And labels are good because they help you get you recognized. But if you're mislabeled, you kind of feel cheated because the truth just wasn't good enough.